Hello, I'm Will Badley. Um, firstly, I'd like to uh, congratulate Bonsai Empire on 15 years. Um, I have been asked two questions on uh, the creation of Deadwood. Uh, the first part of that is, uh, are there any species unsuitable for um, um, carving? One that I've had real trouble with, I've only, only carved it once but it didn't work very well, was Wisteria. Very pithy, um, soft wood and doesn't really lend itself very well to, um, to carving at all. Um, there are a few other species that I wouldn't tend to carve, and they tend to be the pioneer species, very quick, open-grained um, woods like um, uh, Betula. Um, you know, those, they have the, an inability to compartmentalise any damage. Um, they get a lot of fungus problems and, um, and die back, so um, I don't tend to work with those. Um, the trees with a, a very open grain, quick grown trees uh, tend to have um, quite a soft wood, um, lend themselves very well to hollow, hollow type trees, but any external dead wood doesn't work particularly well. I think with um, deciduous trees, uh, you should never make the carving the main focus of the tree. Well, you, this one is an example. I didn't have one much choice with this one, as most of the tree died off due to vine weevil. But, um, it's left me with a very narrow um, live vein on it. So I, ha I had to carve this uh, to, to give it interest, but because it's the main focus of the tree, that the deadwood won't last forever and ever. So it, eventually that will disappear and you'll be left with um, quite an uninteresting tree. So um, always try and make, you know, if you've got uh, a little gin or euro or a branch stub that you want to turn into something, as long as it's not the main focus, then that's not such an issue. Um, yeah, so it's, so it's the transitional nature of um, deadwood on all trees, really. You know, even juniper, juniper and pine, it doesn't last forever. Um, so you have to intervene with... Um, uh, some sort of treatment to the wood. Okay, the second part of uh, my question is about the treatment of deadwood. Uh, there's several products on the market um, won't preserve the deadwood forever, particularly on deciduous trees, but they'll, they'll certainly extend extend the life of any any deadwood. Um, this one has been treated for 15 years. Uh, it it is getting a little soft now. Um, but it's, it's, it's certainly worth persevering with. Um, I treat this about two or three times a year with um, a product called Ron Seal Wet Rot Wood Hardener. It's a bit of a mouthful, but um, it, it works very well. Uh, there's uh, another product on the market called Paraloid, which is um, it's little plastic beads that you mix with acetone. Um, it dissolve, the acetone dissolves the plastic beads and you, you apply that to the wood and it will kind of plasticise the wood slightly. Um, I've heard of people using super glue um, on gins just to strengthen them a little bit. Uh, you can also, also use uh, teak oils, um, uh, linseed oil. Uh, the, the most important thing when you, when you come to treating deadwood is if you've got an existing tree that has soft parts to the tree, it's important that you, you try and remove those and get back to a solid uh, solid wood to tree. So make sure you brush out any, any soft wood before you think about treating. Um, try, and, try and put um, a wet rock wood hardener onto soft wood and it, it won't make any difference. It will just hold water and affect the other wood. The, the stronger wood in the long term. Uh, so yeah, clean out any soft wood, give it a brush, um, try and keep algae and moss away from any dead wood. Well, with this tree for instance had um, dead wood that sits below the soil level, so 
that's always a, a soggy area and holds moisture. So what I did was reduce reduce the deadwood up so in fact it sits above the soil level. If I took all this moss, the moss is on here for exhibition purposes, but the moss will come off shortly. And if if I did that, you'd see right through the back of the tree. You wouldn't be able to see any none of the deadwood touches the soil. So that's that's a way you can help to improve the life of and um, yeah, I think that's I think that's all for me.